Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am going to uh, continuing the problems related to permutations and uh, combinations. See here, the first question in this session is, uh, in how many ways can seven beads uh, can be arranged to form a necklace? To form a necklace. In order to form a necklace, of uh, which consisting of seven beads uh, arranged to form a necklace? That is the question he is asking about. Uh, here, uh, seven beads or seven stones. Whenever these kind of questions are uh, given related to the you know application of uh, circular arrangement. See, this is uh, related to circular arrangement. In circular arrangement, in circular arrangement, we are having two formulas. Uh, one is related to necklace and garland, all those kind of things. That is n minus 1 factorial by 2. And whereas coming to in terms of persons, if we want to arrange in terms of uh, members, uh, then the answer should be n minus 1 factorial. Here, by 2 will come for if there is no difference between clockwise and uh, anti-clockwise direction. If there is no difference between clockwise and anti-clockwise. But if there is a difference between, if there is a difference between clockwise and uh, anti-clockwise direction, then we can use this formula n minus 1 factorial. This is in the case of uh, persons. Whenever we are arranging the persons uh, around a circular table, in that case we can use this formula. But whereas uh, whenever we are arranging any kind of uh, stones, any kind of stones in a necklace or uh, beads in a necklace or else uh, flowers around garland, all those kind of examples are comes under n minus 1 factorial by 2. Why? Because uh, here there is no difference, uh, no difference between clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. Now you can use uh, uh, this first case that is uh, in uh, there is no difference between clockwise and anti-clockwise. Uh, here in place of n, the number of beads which is given as 7. Therefore, n is equal to 7. Substitute that 7 in that formula. You will get the answer. Here, 7 minus 1 factorial by 2. That is the required answer. 7 minus 1, 6. 6 factorial is 720 by 2. Which is equal to 360 ways. Therefore, number of ways in which we can arrange 7 beads in the form of a necklace that is 360 that is the required answer see the next question in how many ways can five boys and uh, three girls here five boys are there and also three girls sit in a row such that all boys are sit together all boys are sit together if all boys are sit together take all five boys as single entity all five five boys are single entity why because according to the condition all boys must and should sit together there should not be any girl between the boys so all boys taken as single entity along with single entity three girls are there total one plus three four these four members can be arranged in four factorial ways. These four members can be arranged in four factorial ways. And also within this single entity will be having uh, five boys. Within this single entity will be having how many boys? Five boys. Those five boys can be arranged in five factorial ways. Those five boys can be arranged in five factorial ways. Now the required answer is uh, four factorial into 5 factorial. What is 4 factorial here? 24. And the 5 factorial is uh, 120. 5 factorial is uh, 120. Now you can multiply these two. Whatever the value you will get, you just write down it. Here it is uh, 24 into 12. 24 into 12, that is 240 plus 48, uh, 288. So the product of these two, 2880. 24 into 12, which is equal to 288. Uh, and 0 is there, you can keep the 0. 2880. Once again, I am repeating the problem. 
here the condition which is given as all five boys are sit together it means uh, you need to take all these five boys as single entity single entity now this single entity plus five girls five girls these two can be arranged in four factorial ways uh, four factorial ways and uh, within this single entity will be having uh, five boys and these five boys can be arranged in five factorial ways now the total number of ways are four factorial into five factorial 24 into 120 which is equal to 2880 that is the required answer for this question let's move to the next question see here the letters of the word director are arranged in such a way that all the vowels come together in such a way that all vowels are come together here the word is given as director here the word is director this is the word which is given and the question is find out the number of ways uh, for making such uh, arrangement and the condition is uh, all vowels are come together first write down all vowels separately i e o i e o these are the three vowels uh, which always come together one two and three these are the three vowels uh, and next uh, remaining letters are d r c t r director d r c t r these are the remaining five letters uh, now you can arrange uh, these five letters and single entity one entity five plus one six uh, these five, six letters can be arranged in six factorial ways but if you observe carefully there is one particular letter r which is repeated twice the letter r is repeated twice therefore you need to divide with the two factorial five plus one single entity six these six letters can be arranged in six factorial along with that there is a letter R which is repeated twice. That is the reason why you need to divide with uh, two factorial. After that, within this single entity, again we have uh, three letters, uh, three vowels, which are I, E, O. We can arrange these three vowels within the single entity in three factorial ways. Three factorial ways. Now you can calculate the answer. Here six factorial means 720 divided by two into 6 3 factorial is equal to 6 now you can uh, cancel this value 2 1s uh, 2 3s uh. here it is uh, 72 3 sir 72 3 sir 2 1 6 and 0 is there 2 1 6 0 2 1 6 0 is the right answer for this question guys i hope you uh, enjoy the session and uh, you can understand all the problems uh, in this uh, session which are uh, which we uh, discussed okay Thank you. Thanks for watching.